Now in a basic data register consisting only of flip-flops, it samples its input every clock cycle. Every flip-flop clock is connected to the same clocking waveform and with no intervening circuitry it will simply sample its input once every clock period. Normally we'd like to have an enable signal that controls when the flip-flops actually sample a new value. We can use a 2 to 1 MUX to feed two different values to the D flip-flop. The enable signal will then control which of those two input values is actually routed to the flip-flop itself. When the enable is zero, we would like to simply preserve the current value. When the enable input is a one, on the other hand, then we would like to be able to apply the data value. This is our, our new value to be stored in the flip-flop. All right, let's take a look at how we can implement this in LabVIEW. Here I have a while loop structure. I'm using the shift register style to uh, implement our D flip-flop. Here we notice the correspondence between a number of these structures, including the 2 to 1 MUX right here. Here I'm using the enable signal that's common to all those MUXs. We see that it can take on either a true or a fal false value, and that picks one of those two possible values. We can also look at the same thing done with the feedback node. Again, we see that this would correspond to our Q output right here. The feedback path appears right there, coming in on the false input of the MUX. And on the true input side, we have the data value to be applied to the D flip-flop. Notice that um, I'm referring to this as a 2 to 1 MOX. In LabVIEW, it's referred to as a select node. Here's a version that's based on an array. I'll be, again begin with the shift register style first. We initialize this with 8 bits worth of signal, so we've got an 8 bit bus. Again, pointing out the correspondence between the uh, Q output and the data input here. And we have the enable signal that dictates which of those two values is ultimately passed to the D input. When done with the feedback node, this picture looks very much like my original hand-drawn schematic. Again, we see our feedback path, the 2 to 1 MUX, looks very much like the original. Lastly, I'll point out that we can do the same 8-bit register using the unsigned 8-bit data type, in, or integer data, data type. So that constant actually defines an 8-bit value. So we think of this as being an 8-bit bus with the integer interpretation tacked on. Again, this is the shift register style that I'm showing right now. And here's the version that's based on the feedback node. Again, very nice, looks just like the original schematic.